first song. I was going to do something a little rowdier, but I'm going to warm up nice and gently since I still had such a lovely dinner. <laughs> Tune first. With all the animals that we have, I have one very <coughs> particular one. He, uh, he's a self-appointed service dog. Oh yeah, he, um, I, I was taking him around with me just for fun at a convention once. And, uh, it was a, a little convention, there wasn't a lot going on. And I was in the dealer's room, and he was under the table. And there was nobody in the dealer's room. And I, I, I'm not somebody to sit idle in a, in a small room with a few people. <laughs> it, it, it makes me a little buggy. So I started to talk, and I started to story tell. And, of course, there was nobody there to stop me. <laughs> and I just kept going. And I think I ended up, like, doing that for about three hours because we were that bored. So I was just entertaining everybody for four hours, three four hours. And Tycho, my little Jack Russell, um, started to whine underneath the table. And I thought, okay, well, he needs to go outside. So I took him outside of the hotel, and I showed him around in the bushes and the trees, and he completely ignored them all. And he kept looking at me. And I'm like, what's your problem, Tycho? And he rears up on his back legs, and he starts scratching at my legs. And I'm like, what, what do you want? What do you want? What's the matter? He's like, oh. I'm like, what? And he starts licking at my hands. I'm like, what is your problem? Well, as I bent down to pick him up, my chest seized up, and I had a terrible, terrible asthma attack where I could almost not breathe. I did have an inhaler in my back pocket. So I grabbed my inhaler quickly, and I hit my inhaler, and started to breathe again, got, got it under control. Immediately, as soon as I got it under control, he starts wagging his tail and goes right back to the door of the hotel. <laughs> Apparently, he knew that I was going to have an attack, and that is how he behaves when something's going to go wrong. Um, he has done that with uh, a friend of mine with epilepsy as well. And um, so, that's when I learned that my, my dog is smarter than me. <laughs> and I asked him one day, I said, Tycho, I said, um, I said, do you have to make a, a, some sort of a special vow if you're a service dog? And he looks at me with brown button eyes. And he says, oh yes, this is a very important vow. And I said, well, well what, are, what are the words to that? And so he told me what the words were. And darned if this rotten little Jack Russell can't write a better song than me. <laughs> this is his song. I did not write this. He wrote this. I can feel your heart burning with tears that you hide. I will walk without turning, ever close by your side. I will guard you at night and alert you to harm and will snuggle up tight just to keep us both warm. Lay your hand on my head as the firelight dies and believe what I've said for this love never lies I'll inspire you to laugh I'll release you to cry I'm the strong silent half of what we unify I will give you my heart if you give me your hand and it's never apart. Whilst beside you I stand, lay your hand on my head as the firelight dies and believe what I've said for this love never lies. Courage you seek, I am yours to command. I don't outwardly speak, but I still understand. Through your joy and your strife, I'll attempt any task. I will lay down my life. All you need to do is ask. Lay your hand on my head. As the firelight dies And believe what I've said For this love never lies Lay your hand on my head 
as the firelight dies and believe what I've said for this love never lies.